guys, it is me, Sai, your anime protagonist VTuber, and welcome back to Sai's Reactions, where I react to anime that are in my to-watch list. And today, we're going to react to Season 4, Episode 6 of Overlord. Uh, basically, last time on Overlord, Ainz and the gang, by gang, I mean Mare, I'm Mare, I mean Aura. I, I get those twins uh, mixed up from time to time. So, Aura and Shaltir. Ainz with Aura, Shaltir, and a lizard guy, and an army of undead uh, set forth to have a diplomatic mission within the to, with the Dwarven Kingdom. My boy Ainz interested about rune weapons and investigating whether there is a player up there with the dwarves um, and get himself some rune items. So basically, uh, my boy has his own goals, but within like Albedos and uh, Demir Demirge, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, perspective, they, they still cannot fathom what Ainz was thinking. But yeah, so basically uh, Ainz is going up uh, against, uh, I don't know, going up, he's going up to the mountains to actually meet up with the Dwarven Kingdom. And he's bringing Shaltir with him. For some reason, uh, it seems like he has some plans to make Shaltir grow, so that's why he basically uh, brought Shaltir with him, and he bought Aura with him in order to guide Shaltir for some reason. And yeah, uh, so basically, uh, they finally found a dwarf who is uh, mining at the time, and it seems like the dwarves are being attacked by hairy hyena-looking people, like. They're, they're called Kuagoa. Kuagoa. Uh, it's hard to pronounce their name. It's Kuagoa, right? So basically, these creatures eat ores, and it seems like they are killing dwarves. They want to conquer or destroy the dwarven kingdom. And my boy Ainz just, uh, 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 you know, uh, what do you call this? Uh, ordered Shout here to actually capture all of them. My, my girl did her best was able to use like massive hold species and charm species they learned that uh, this is just a front or what do you call this a scouting team and the main army is about to invade the kingdom itself the dwarven kingdom and so it looks like uh, my boy Ainz is going to help the dwarven kingdom to get himself uh, a bunch of runes uh, runesmiths and yeah so that's where we left off um, so yeah, let's start this reaction already guys. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, I do anime reactions. I upload random stuff and I also stream games. So if you guys want to join in, uh, hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. Uh, due to copyright issues, I am not putting any footage in my video, but I would leave a timer so you can synchronize with legal copy or a legal streaming service of your choice. So without further ado, let's do this. Uh, Overlord Season 4 Episode 6 Reaction starts in 3. Two, one, go. Uh huh. Still new news. Uh huh. Oh, it looks like the dwarves. Goa Goa. Uh huh. Seal the gates. Uh huh. The tens of thousands of life of her is more important. Oh boy, they're they're gonna close the gates. Oh man, there's so many of them. Hashtag CG bad CGI. <laughs> Yo, there's just many of them. Yo. They're just, just gonna seal siege this the gate. Uh huh. Uh huh. Emergency. And then dead appeared above the ground. Uh huh. And then dead. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Ainz is going to talk with the general, huh? Dun, 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 dun.
Overlord's openings are always bangers, man. Whoever produces them ha has really good taste. So we're having like Brain and Kokutas fighting in the future, huh? They said they got information from the Kowago they captured in Pio Rido. Uh-huh. Dwarven army. <laughs> the situation just from... Uh-huh. Already aware of everything. Abandoning the city. Relationship with your kingdom. Accepting my assistance. Uh huh. I don't mind the way. Congress often dances but does not progress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the politics is stupid. <laughs> Please lend us the strength of your kingdom. Oh, it's like they're selling their soul to the demons. So they're doing this for resources and ores, huh? Looks like the dwarves have access for greater ores. Oh boy, is Ayn's gonna just obliterate them? shield it's the death knight yes yo they're just are the dwarves counter-attacking yep it's not the dwarves it's the great sorcerer kingdom yo <laughs> no this, the death knights are just menacing man yo not holding back the gore in this episode, yo! They're just decapitating them left and right. Oh no, they, they just have to cut the bridge down in order to stop them, right? It's just a swing bridge. Destroy the bridge. Oh my god, it's strong. The ropes are strong. Oh, this is the leader. Yo, he just sacrificed his own men though. So, but it's gonna be... Yo! Boom! Oh, they managed to destroy two of the Death Knights. Ainz will not be pleased. Golems? Mm-hmm. We got to report this to Lord Ryorio. Okay. So I'm guessing the Ryorio is the king of the Kuwagoa, huh? 
a personal business uh-huh have been eliminated oh At the same time mm, he's gonna suspect though that there's a yeah he's suspecting that there's a player finally found a player So this is the the Regency Council of the Dwarves. Okay, so Aura is with her. to establish uh-huh fridge vegetable foods are to obtain liquor as well mm. mineral ores making that uh-huh attack <laughs> still not completely safe uh-huh kingdom were to fall would you accept Ooh. would they would they accept his assistance though Dwarves uh, in any fantasy setting has always been like they're always been like suspicious and hard-headed Uh-huh Eight clans be unified become powerful force. Okay. dragon in the way can reclaim our royal capital yes too good to be true oh finally someone snaps yo there's gotta be some kind of target motive uh-huh I'd rather have friends and relations with the race that has a concept of trade and more common sense than the Koagoa. Losing side is always more grateful. Yo! But boy, his sales pitch is good. He really is a salesman in his original life, right? That's what I heard. Uh-huh. You want to turn them into slaves? Want to gather all the rude smiths and have them forge items in my country. Ooh. Uh-huh. That's not enough benefit for me. Ooh. 
He wants the runesmith in exchange for cap the capital. A city, huh? Hmm, the general is already on his side though. <laughs> He's such a powerful monster. He's definitely evil. <laughs> Shouldn't trade our weapons with him. Uh huh. Oh my god. <laughs> they really are. They just can't talk to him because he's powerful, man. Finally, did they decide? Enough forces to reclaim the stronghold. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna... Finishes his stock, okay? Okay. So my boy Gondor doesn't like alcohol, huh? Ah, oh, they find it. Yo, Ice is just menacing, man. Like, he really is. Oh, silence. I mean, shows him. Shelter show, showing him, showing them the booze. the dog guys one thing uh -huh. mm. yo Oh yes, his trademark thing that he's practiced. Mm -hmm. I do not like this sword. Mm -hmm. Takes runes were, that were graved with Warwing King's hammer. from Idrasil. That lost knowledge. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Mm, they're, they're inspired by the sword. 
We want to make something like it. <laughs> Presentation complete. My boy is a real salary man. Mm -hmm. Gondo, my boy. Gondo. <laughs> Yes. Giving up in ruin crafting. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, he's right. Don't worry, the sorcerer kingdom will make use of you. Mm hmm. Means the history of root crafting has not ended. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, so he's the one going to guide them. Okay. Both rune crafting passed down to the royal family and the royal treasury in the capital. Help you with robbery. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Understand your resolve, okay? That I didn't hold back. Mm -hmm. Hey, so it's just gonna be Ein's aura and Shaltir with Gondo, huh? The four of them is just. The four of them are the only ones who's gonna conquer the royal capital. Oh my god. But that, there's en that's enough though. Because I think Shaltir is like the most powerful guardian, so they could really just eliminate all of those Kuagoa. Mm-hmm. Area soon. The two of my dead knights. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh huh. So you gotta teach him like the basics of PvP. trying to say move forward while guarding ourselves from the possibility of a strong enemy mm -hmm. teaming with magical be they're just Poisonous guys shoot up in various directions. Yo. And they're just gonna what? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Breath of Titania. To take the root with this. Okay. <laughs> mm 
We'll reach the royal capital soon. Mm -hmm. If they resist, show them the power of Nazareth. Oh boy. Ooh, dragon. Yeah, the frost dragon. Yo! Season 1! Flashback! Oh my god! Mm hmm. He was originally going to check. Uh huh. Yo, those are the guys that died, right? That Clementine killed. And we're done. Do we have like an after credit scene? Let's wait for an after credit scene. Let's wait for the after credit scene if ever. credit scene okay 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 that's nice um so yeah uh, my boy Ainz just procured himself a bunch of dwarves so I'm guessing that the sword that he showed is some a sword from Ingressive and uh he's curious and it seems like that sword has like 20 runes in it and the dwarves are saying it's impossible because you know even in the golden age of their history uh most runes that they can do is six and this is a dying crowd, but they got inspired by seeing like, oh, 20 runes are possible. Like, I want to make it. I will become the legendary dwarf that makes it. So yeah, and my boy Gondo is just like sad that their own country have like abandoned their culture. It's like, like kind of sad though. Like I, I could feel like, uh, I could like relate with Gondo, like seeing the culture of your country be abandoned, you know, seeing your country abandon their culture just because uh, they think it's like off the times, but you know, my boy Ainz giving him hope that even if the the kingdom, the dwarf kingdom abandoned rune, runesmithing, another kingdom will uh, will open its arms for you. So the history of runesmiths uh, will not die here. Like those are just inspiring words. Where does Ainz get all of these ideas, man? Like. It's, I don't know, maybe it's because he's a salesman in his former life, right? So, so yeah, and then uh, now I think uh, my boy Ainz is going to reclaim the capital. But no, but I think he's uh, sending Aura and Shaltir to do that. And see, he's going to fight the, the Frost Dragons. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of nice that he actually like uh, had a flashback of season one between the first party that he and uh, he as Momon joined when they were talking about uh, Frost Dragons. Uh, so yeah, uh, that, that's a good nod for the first season. It seems like um, it's, ha it's actually nostalgic, man. Like uh, when I first watched Overlord, I was like so, so, uh, so stoked at it. Like it's, it's just amazing, man, especially when it was made by Madhouse. Uh, a lot of people like, uh, you know, that the problem with Overlord right now is that they're using bad CGI, but it doesn't matter because I don't really care about animation. I care about good storytelling. So that's actually my priority. So I, I, I'm willing to overlook bad animation if there's good storytelling on it. Like, you know, <laughs> if there's like good storytelling of it, even if it, it looks like rearms. <laughs> um, you know that Crunchyroll, uh, <laughs> that Crunchyroll specific uh, <laughs> anime. <laughs> if uh, even if they have bad CG, if the story and the world building is good, I don't mind. Kind of like, for example, like One Punch Man. When I read the manga, I read the original web comic. The original web comic's art style is bad, but you know the storytelling was amazing. 
the world is interesting uh i i'm willing to overlook that for the for the story time and overlord is one of the best uh best anime with great storyline i've ever watched so far uh that's continuing right now so yeah anyway i can't wait to watch the uh the and uh, the next episode next week so i guess that's it thank you guys for watching this is sai your anime protagonist vtuber have a great day guys